Good morning, my darlings. I'm still in a state of blissful surprise at my fashion experience yesterday on the Gold Coast. Frockarama at Carrara Market was sensational. It's the first time that I've been and um, I just can't believe how many fantastic finds. It was just a trove of treasures. Got there at 8.30, lined up for half an hour, so I was fortunate to be in the first group that was allowed into the pavilion. I knew it was going to be good because two seconds after walking in, my eyes just like went straight to, shall I show you? My eyes went straight to this little case on the table right in front of me. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, it's a Sassen Buy case. Oh, Sassen Buy sunglasses. Open it up. Oh. Gee, they're the aviator styles, like those. Scan them for damage. Try them on. Fab. Ask the lady how much? $10. $10. These are 149 on the website. Um, so if that was all I got for my efforts to get down there, it was worth it. So I was winning. <laughs> But it just got better. So next table I, I moved to, ended up buying four jackets that I will share with you as I wear them. I just went to this one and I immediately thought of one particular fabulous woman who I love to follow, read her work, and that's Tara Moss. I instantly went saw this jacket and I thought, oh, that's so fab and vintage. I could see Tara Moss pulling that off. That would be Tara Moss approved. So my girlfriend said, try it on, it's great. It's a Joseph Rickoff. Very, very nicely made. Oh, hello. A little bit roomy around the waist, mm. but still very nicely shaped for my figure type. And I thought, oh, that's easy. I'll just get the size sewn in a little bit, which I can do. And then I thought, no, if I'm going to hark back in some way to the 40s, a style element from the 40s, tying your belt over, putting your belt over your waist, which still, which cinches it in, and I kind of like the way that it forms this nice exaggerated peplum. So I probably won't bother getting it altered. Winning. Let's look at the rest of the look. After I thought about how it would be Tara Moss approved, um, I went straight to Trini in my head, and I thought, now what would she say? And instantly I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get it and I'm going to have some vintage influence to style with it, but I also need to do something modern to bring it into, um, you know, that timeless dressing that she talks about. So this is what I've done. I've paired it with these fab classic trousers from Q that I've had for several years. They've got this sort of sailor, sailor-esque um, idea going on here with the three buttons going down, which sort of feels quite on era um, for the 40s. They've also got a nice boot leg cut, so you know, not quite a flare, but flary enough to sort of balance out the proportions of my body. And then I have modernized with my white loupes. The belt is my fabulous Q patent black leather. I've got this lovely um, River Island. So Trini talks about those, you know, how great their silky shirts are with the three button little cuff. So this one's a bit more of a cow neck, which I thought also just was flattering with that 40s vibe. So that one's on there. I also like the fact that it's got a longer length at the back, just for a little bit of layering and interest. And I mean, it doesn't cover my whole bottom, but um, I'm comfortable. Comfortable like that. La Vista earrings. I bought these before Valentina had arrived because they reminded me of Valentina. And I'm just, yeah, quite stoked to pair them. They're pretty, they're delicate. To me, that, that feels right for the 40s um, reimagining. I had fun doing my hair this morning. <gasps> I was in a stage show at high school, Kiss Me Kate, which was set in the 1940s. And I remember we all had to have our hair done like this. And I, <sighs> I wasn't a fan then, but man, now just thought go hard or go home with this i've got pretty like soft fluffy candy floss here anyway pretty easy to get that look so i've got very 40s on this side with it pinned back at the top there if i had a diamante oh actually i think i do 
I do have a little diamante clip. That would be nice. Detail, I could add that at the top. And then just because I want to keep it different and, you know, more current, I've left this side out. So, Tara Moss. Mm, cherry brown. Trini's sparkled all through it. <laughs> Here's my palette I work with today. Star and Strength and my Flush Blush Electra and my gorgeous Valentina Lip Love. So it's a very cool palette. This is the third go I've had with my Trini London products. So my technique today, I liked laying down Star as like my, my base um, across my whole lid. But today I did take it all the way up to my eyebrow. I realized that because it can be so incredibly subtle um, that it's actually fine to do that. I was sort of putting a, a light eyeshadow and a highlighter there anyway. So really, I don't need to do the highlighter. But I thought about my color palette and I thought about the overall look that I'm going for, a reinvented vintage. Immediately I thought of the dramatic um, black eyeliner, you know, wing. I knew that I didn't want to put black on my eyes in that dramatic way. But I thought, oh, I could do it with strength. <clears throat> so I actually did. I, I kind of etched out um, that traditional dramatic wing using this little brush, nice and thin. So it allowed me to be, you know, incredibly detailed and stopped me being too messy and clumsy. So then once I had it etched out, um, I just picked up my very soft blending brush with a nice little point on the end and completely diffused it. In essence, I've still got this wing, but it's a softer version of the wing. And so that's all I've got on my eyes. It's just strength to do the wing and a little bit of eyeliner underneath and only started about halfway across. So this is all star on that side. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. So it's definitely a look that I'm going to repeat. Mostly it's just star around um, my tear duct area um, and then right in here. And then I have just popped a blast of very, very white highlighter. It's just, I'm just so happy with this one, Electra. Like I, I feel like you just sort of couldn't go wrong with it. Even if I wanted to, I'll just put a little bit more on. I feel like... You know, it's going to get more intense with the more you put on, but not wrong looking because it's just such a soft, pretty color that um, it's going to work with so many of the colors I love wearing. You know, the fact that I can wear it with really, really bright fluoro pink looks and then I can wear it with bold red looks. So that is a winner. Far out. And then, hmm, that's all. So it's all about this one for me. Look at that colour. So, so pretty. And there's a real relationship with these beautiful little earrings. So here's the whole look. We can be pin-up girls at any age. If we want to be pin-up girls when we're middle-aged, we can be pin-up girls. I'll be my own pin-up girl. So are vintage classics reimagined something that you enjoy? Do you find fantastic treasures from pre-loved environments? Do you love 1940s pin-up girl style makeup? Would you consider diffusing the look so that it has a nostalgic kiss back to the past? Your look is maintaining currency. Why not play around with combinations of classic pieces, a fantastic vintage inspired jacket? <laughs> See how you go. I'm off to work. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Good afternoon, my darlings. I had a couple of thoughts. I'm sorry about that noise in the background as well. My husband's trimming the hedges. Can't escape it. So on my way home, I was thinking about what it means to be a woman who truly supports women. That soft version of a feminist, I guess. And I was thinking about how, in my little anecdote about finding this cool jacket, I immediately thought of some strong public woman. I thought about Tara Moss, a woman who I truly believe is a woman's woman. And then I thought about Trini. Her whole career is around building them up, making them feel great. 
I had my own grandmother on my mind actually as well. I didn't mention that this morning, but it's just been sort of sitting with me all, all day today and um, resonating with me, you know, thinking about the lovely photos I've seen um, of my grandmother in her younger years. She's now in her 90th year, um, you know, through the 40s era and the, the beautiful tailoring and suiting and, you know, feminine pretty details. Her and her sister um, wore but I sort of feel like I'm kind of paying a little bit of homage to that as well. And I think she'd really like this. I think she'd like this look today. And I'm just thinking about Rokorama. What a truly spectacular day I had yesterday. And then also a woman who ran the event yesterday and about how really it was all about women supporting women. Sustainable fashion, you know, we're being responsible for the planet, responsible for our wallets, and supporting each other. My very, very dear friend, Nicole, who came along with me, she probably wasn't as interested or as excited about the event as I was, um, but she came along with me to support me and help him scan the space, finding one of my leather jackets, holding my bags of things for me while I madly tried stuff on. So that's another sister supporting a sister. How has another woman supported you recently? How have you been built up? Maybe you've built another woman up who really, really needed that. Strong woman, supporting woman. In any and every possible way. I like being a feminist. Have a great evening, everybody.